boom shakalaka why this flash crash is different from all other flash crashes and the conspiracy behind it taking shape plus the most undervalued altcoins based on data and the one hidden gem you should keep your eyes on stay tuned What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, we're taking a look at why this flash crash was different from the others, plus the most undervalued coins based on data and one hidden gem that you should probably take a look at. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Also come join us over on Twitter at the Crypto Love, where every week we give away one of these sweet shirts that I'm wearing. I'm not even gonna show it to you today. But what is going on and why is this crash different from the others? Well, if we take a look at this chart here from Willy Wu, he says leverage market sold off, but investors buying just got stronger. Bitcoin flash crashes are caused by deleveraging. The COVID crash was similar in that derivative is overreacted, but back then it was supported by investors. This one was completely divergent and a mystery. Cheap coins. Now he says it's a mystery. I have a theory, but I also like conspiracy theories. So maybe this isn't, maybe this isn't, but we're going to investigate it and find out exactly why. You see, because if we take a look at this chart here, we can see in the COVID crash, this is Bitcoin price right here, tanked. And exchange flows in purple, short-term investors in red, and long-term investors in green, all of them dropped. However, fast forward to today, price crashed, but exchange flows up, short-term investors up, long-term investors up. So what exactly does this mean? Well, I have a theory. You see, this crash coincidentally coincidentally happened the same exact day that el salvador adopts bitcoin as legal tender who wouldn't want that to happen who would want everybody in el salvador to hate bitcoin who other than the imf the international monetary fund why would they just let el salvador adopt bitcoin freely instead cause a flash crash cause mass panic across everybody in El Salvador, make them think that it's going to cause a whole bunch of stuff. And I actually have some evidence to back this up. You see, Bitcoin tanked 10% in less than an hour during Bukel's elect Bitcoin day, but the premier said he bought the dip. So if we take a look here, we can see that actually, based on this chart here, the people who sold were the people who bought during the run-up. Not, not long-term holders. Most of the people who sold that caused the crash bought on the way up. Now, this coincidentally happened after Bukele said that he was adopting Bitcoin. He said that in this area here. That gave the IMF time to purchase Bitcoin as the price was going up to cause a flash crash and subsequent liquidation of all overleveraged traders. Because basically what happened was there was a sell-off. Yes, but it was ridiculous 20 plus percent because of over leveraged traders they got wrecked bitcoin whales nom 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 bought it up and you see that's the difference the reason why people like pentoshi and myself are calm about these crashes is because they own their bitcoin we own our bitcoin we don't leverage trade leverage trade dangerous they don't get liquidated do you think people who sold at 42,000 two days ago wanted to sell at 42 no they were forced to by design leverage is a tool only few people truly understand how to use most should stay away. Heed that advice. It's good advice. Now, that being said, everything's looking good. Another another bullish impulse of Bitcoin moving to long-term investors and coins coming off exchanges. Ignore the noise. The noise is short-term, but long-term supply and demand. The supply is getting eaten up and demand is only increasing. So price is likely to follow. It is highly unlikely we are anywhere near the peak. Right now, cbbi.info, confidence we're at the peak 58%. If we take a look here, right now, we're at 58%. Last time we were at the same level, Bitcoin was at $27,000 on its ride up to 65. That would roughly double the price from where it is now, giving us a $100,000 Bitcoin. And when is this to happen? Well, guys, I think it is likely to happen by the breakout point on this wedge right around November 17th, about the week before Thanksgiving, which historically is a very bullish time for Bitcoin. Thanksgiving, Christmas, those are the times when Bitcoin price generally pumps. And look at this bullish wedge forming to break out exactly then. I think it's likely that it will break to the upside. 
So great news for Bitcoin, but also for all of you altcoin holders, I just found this today. This is Rao Paul's company, Real Vision. They have this website, realvisionbot.com slash crypto, where each week they ask survey participants to underweight, overweight tokens from a curated list of potential candidates. And then they add those to their portfolio or not. Well, this is actually a really useful tool because you can see what people think are overvalued, undervalued, and generally whatever else. So if we take a look and this chart down here, we're going to go by each individual category. Let's look first at what people think the overweighted altcoins are. Things like Ethereum, Solana, Chainlink, Polkadot, SushiSwap, Terra, Aave, okay? Interesting. People think that Ethereum is overweighted, Solana overweighted, Chainlink overweighted in the portfolio. Let's take a look at things that well, maybe we should put in the portfolio. How about those? Things like Dogecoin. Yeah, definitely. Synthetics, XRP, USD coin. I mean, these are kind of like obvious, like Dogecoin. Why would you put that in there? Synthetics, I'm kind of surprised. I think maybe because people don't understand it or maybe because it tracks Ethereum very well. Uh, XRP, clearly, if you like cryptocurrency, you don't like XRP. USD coin, clearly don't put that in the portfolio because it can't 100x, right? So don't include those in the portfolio. But also there were some other ones like VeChain, Chili's, Engine Coin. So very interesting there. And then these are the ones that I think are very, very interesting. The underweight ones that people are saying, hey, you should buy more of this. Not the ones that I would have expected. I would have expected Solana and Avalanche and I don't know, some like Shiba, Doge, Elon, Sperm Coin or something like that. But what we actually got was Decentraland, Bitcoin, Engine Coin, Uniswap, FTX token. The top five there for underweight Decentraland, Bitcoin, Engine Coin, Uniswap, and FTX token. Very, very interesting. So that brings me to what I think could be a hidden gem. Now, this just kind of flagged in my consciousness. I wanted to bring it up to you guys. I haven't done all my research on this one, but since it's flagging on two very helpful indicators that I use, I thought I'd bring it up to you, let you take a look at it yourself. So, on latest on Coin Telegraph Markets Pro, if you see on the Vortex scoreboard, the top coin today, Koti, C-O-T-I. Now, if we go and take a look at token metrics, Koti also very high up. Now, you're saying 63.9% TM grade, that's not very high, but this is how I generally find hidden gems because what I do is I go to data ratings investor yearly. Now, it should be noted that all of the top coins for the investor yearly are like stable coins. So based on machine learning and everything else there, they would say within a year, it's likely that things are going to go down. So these would be the most stable. But once we start getting to things that are not stable coins, one of the top coins there is Koti. And I just found this, I haven't done all of my research on Koti, but I just found it interesting how it's one of the top coins there for the investor yearly, also the top coins on the Vortex scoreboard. Right now, I think it's uh, 200 some on 216th market cap. So it's definitely low down there. And if you take a look at the website, they have a pretty nice website. And that's, I mean, that's the first thing. If they don't have a good website, it's usually garbage, but they have a pretty nice website. Ultimate power grid of payments. So they're aiming to be a new payment system built with a decentralized a cyclic graph like IOTA. And they have a pretty stacked team. You can see down here as well. Where is it? There we go. Pretty stacked team. This guy has 14 patents, former head of research for IBM, former HSBC internal auditor. So a lot of interesting stuff worth checking out again this isn't buy or don't buy i just thought thought it interesting that this came up on both of these it's the weekend take some time look at cody see if it's something that you know is interesting so guys like i said today we talked about why this crash is different from any other ones why potentially it was the imf trying to dump bitcoin and why this is actually a really good thing because they could only affect the price by what 20 percent they can't destroy Bitcoin. Plus, also, we took a look at the most undervalued coins today, Decentraland Bitcoin, Engine Coin, Uniswap, FTX token, and a potential hidden gem. So, thank you for watching. Enjoy your weekend. I will catch you guys later. Have a good one. Peace.